Hey everybody, how we doing? It is Larry here again for Fitness and Food and Lifestyle Dynamic Nutrition. Uh, right now I just want to talk to you guys about something that uh, I do part of my uh, Lifestyle Dynamic Nutrition program is recipe creation. Now ready? Um, I take some of your favorite recipes that are maybe not so healthy and we try to adjust it to make it healthy. Cool, right? Um, one of the simplest things I, 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 I do myself and I tell clients to do is vegetables you gotta have your vegetables you gotta eat them i mean they're full of nutrients and minerals and all that fun stuff but they also take up a lot of space so you're not overeating all right they help fill you up and they help pretty much just overall uh, help you maintain uh, the proper eating all righty they're good for sports nutrition because you know you need all that that energy and you need all those you have to be healthy and you have to be nutritious now you go food shopping uh, and you have this whole section in the grocery store full of vegetables, right? What the hell do you buy? You know, how do you know what's good? How do you know what's not good? Um, is organic really worth it? Uh, and all that fun stuff. We'll get to organic foods in another video. But I signed up for uh, a program called Imperfect Foods. Uh, what they do is you, f you basically shop uh, a certain day and then they deliver it to your house. And these are imperfect foods, so they're not aesthetically pleasing, so the supermarket didn't want it. Um, if you ever seen the, like, the carrot that grew twice and it's like wrapped around each other, they're not gonna sell that in a store, okay? So where does it go? Companies like this, and there's a few of them that are out there, uh, get all that produce and then put it in a box and ship it to you. Now I got mine yesterday, and I quickly just ran through uh, whatever they were giving me, added a couple of things that I, that I actually wanted, and then, you know, here we go. Uh, I don't know if you can see behind me, uh, over by the sink over there, there's a bowl full of green uh, seedless grapes, or they actually call white seedless grapes, even though they're green. But that came with it also. Fantastic, love to snack on them while I'm doing dishes or anything else. Now, when I say imperfect foods, this is what I'm talking about. This is the eggplant that what I ordered. Well, it came with the order. As you can see, it's really weird shaped. It's quite large, okay? And it was financially worth it. This is, it would have, this will save me about $2 if I would have bought this in the supermarket. Uh, I got two red peppers. Now, they're not the biggest, but they actually look really good. I just think that they were a little smaller than what they were looking for. And, uh, these things look really, really good, and I can't wait to use these. I got three zucchinis. So as you can see, all these little, these little defects in the skin. So the supermarket's not going to buy them. So here we go. They're good. Okay. I'm going to wash these. Probably peel them anyway. And then corn. These just look weird. They have weird uh, stalks on it and everything. But corn. Okay. I also got uh, oranges, pears. And I was supposed to get grape tomatoes, but for some reason um, they didn't uh, have them, so they took them off my order. Either way, this whole thing cost me, with shipping and tax, maybe about $24. Now an eggplant this big in the store, you know for a fact it's going for three bucks. Okay? A zucchini, like $1.69 a pound here. You know, so those three is going to be another $3. So I'm already up to $6 and I only got two things. So it adds up after a while. You know, plus I don't have to go to the store and worry about it. This comes. And I just make do with what I got. Now, you want to make a recipe out of this, right? I have recipes for eggplant. Um, actually, on this YouTube channel, you, you could actually uh, see I make eggplant meatballs. The vegetarian meatballs. Uh, there's an egg in there and some cheese, so it's not vegan. Okay? So, you should check that out. You know what? I'm going to link this with that but that's a fantastic recipe to make with uh with the eggplant zucchini what can you do with zucchini you could peel it and then chop it up nicely and uh throw it in any vegetable dish you could just actually cut them into medallions using a mandolin be very careful because i've already cut myself twice um and you could bake them that's another fantastic thing maybe a little bit of salt on it a little tiny bit of oil throw them in an oven, and just bake them. You could actually make chips out of it. 
that's not a bad idea either. Peppers, slice them. Uh, you could julienne them. You could uh, make them mat matchsticks. Uh, I have another video that teaches you how to make matchsticks out of these. And they could be added to virtually any dish. These are vegetables. They could be added to any dish and it'll make it better. Um, as far as your carbohydrates go and your sugars and all that stuff go, these are very minimal. They're not going to change your dietary um, intake by eating a lot of vegetables. If you eat nothing but vegetables, you have to look at your fiber intake and you have to watch your carbohydrate intake. So that is something to look into. Uh, what I do with my clients is I have computer software that I put all of these in, any seasoning, everything that we use, and how many servings we're going to get out of it, or how many do we want to get out of it, and it gives me my entire breakdown. So, you, I say on the website, you are only limited by your imagination. Yes, I stole that from Ratatouille, from Disney's Ratatouille. Don't care, because it's true. You know, this eggplant, if I don't use the whole thing, if I'm only cooking for myself, I can cut it in half and I can make my meatballs out of that. I could spiralize these. If you have a spiralizer, you know the little hand crank and it just turns these into that. The, the store sells them for zoodles. Okay, that's the name of them because they're like vegetable noodles. Okay, they sell a small little container for like $6. I could get all that out of this. Now, if I, especially if I'm cooking for myself, I could zoodle these out, you know, make them into strings, make my meatballs out of my eggplant, add some plain tomato sauce, I basically have a vegetarian spaghetti without any pasta inside. All of those things can be done with simple vegetables. Now instead of making like a tomato, like a really hearty tomato sauce, I could cut up, you know, oops, almost dropped it, <laughs> gotta wash it anyway so it doesn't matter. Uh, I could cut up one of these guys into chunks and add it to a taco instead of tomato. I don't know how that would taste actually, but I'll try it. Or I could cut them open, add some eggplant, the eggplant mix that I would make the meatballs out of, along with some uh, diced up zucchini, and have myself some stuffed peppers. Instead of using regular chopped meat, which I can if I want to, or a pork or, or anything, if I have no restrictions on my diet. But if I wanted to change things up, these are all the things that can be done. And it's so simple, it's so easy. You just got to know what you want to do and just not be afraid. That's really it. How would you cook corn? You could do it like this. You could throw it in the microwave. You could uh, wrap it in tin foil, throw it on a grill, put it in the oven. Or you could completely strip it and then just cut off all the kernels and toast them and have something completely different. You throw that in with maybe some chopped up eggplant, maybe some ch all, any of the ch all of the chopped up vegetables. I also have some onions too that I got from last week. I also got avocado from last week too. They were a little smaller than usual. I mean, they came bright green. They're not really ready. They're not ripe yet. But if you see how tiny this thing is, it's really small. So um, just to give you an idea, like that's the size. So these, some of these things are small, so the stores aren't gonna buy it. But that's why they send you three of them. You know, look at this tiny little onion. I mean, it's like perfectly round. Like it's perfectly onion shaped, I should say. But it's small, you know, it's, it's very small. All of these things can be just chopped up, mashed up, and shoved together and stuffed into a pepper. Or, you know, use the corn, throw it in together. Then if you want to add some chicken or some, some meat to it for some extra added protein, you're not really adding any carbohydrates to this dish. So your calories are going to be low. And on top of that, you're, if you're on a keto diet or even a carb-restricted diet or just looking to not eat so much carbohydrates, you want to fill up on something else, Vegetables is the best thing to fill up on. So when you make a recipe like what I do, I focus on what my client wants, what the goals are, uh, how many times you want to eat during the day, because that's important, and then we base recipes on that. So the more vegetables we have, plus our meat, we'll have our protein, our a little bit of carbohydrates from this. So it's not we're not at zero, you know. And then we have um, some fiber. Be careful with this if you're susceptible to it. And then, you know, we remain full for longer. So we're not eating, you know, every hour and a half, every two hours. For some people, that's what they need. I myself eat every two, two and a half hours. But that's what I need because that's my goals. 
vegetable intake will be good for everybody else who's not a power lifter, who's not uh, a competing strong man or strong woman, uh, who's not a professional athlete who needs all of the, the, the benefits that come with carb loading and all that stuff before a competition. If you're a normal everyday person who's just looking to lose weight, maintain weight, just get in shape and just live a healthier life, increasing your vegetable intake is the best way to go and making recipes on this is solely at your discretion. If you need help, you know where to find me. I'd be more than happy to help you with that. All right, guys. So check out Imperfect Foods. I'll link them in the description. Um, I get nothing from it. Just letting you know, it's just the, the company that I use. I'm, there's, I already know of one or two others. I can't really remember their name yet. Um, I've seen them uh, advertised. So they're out there. You can check them out. Uh, find which one works best for you as far as shipping and, and uh, delivery and basically what they have. Um, I also got this because I wanted to see the quality versus my local grocery store. Uh, my local grocery store, unfortunately, when I buy vegetables, they last maybe about a, two days before they start going bad. Uh, I've already had this in my kitchen now for a little less than 24 hours. So I'm going to see how this goes. And if it ends up being the same, then I got to just look at the, the dollar signs now. But that's it, guys. Like I said before, you are only limited by your imagination. Recipe creation is easier than you think. Uh, spices do wonderful. And don't be afraid to explore, to try new things, and then just learn. Learn, live, and do all that fun stuff. Alrighty, thank you again for watching. Uh, if you haven't done so already, hit the like and subscribe button so I can keep continue bringing you guys some awesome stuff uh, and some ideas for pretty much everything. Alrighty? Have a great one, guys. Thanks.